Texas high school principal is speaking out this morning after the school district's board of trustees took steps toward not renewing his contract. James Whitfield is the first black principal of Colleyville Heritage High School outside Dallas. Whitfield says he's been pulled into the frenzy over critical race theory after a former school board candidate publicly accused him of having, quote, extreme views on race and promoting a, quote, conspiracy theory of systemic racism. The school board, however, says critical race theory has nothing to do with the steps they're taking. Joining us now is Principal James Whitfield and his attorney, David Henderson. Principal, thank you so much for being with us. Why is it that you think you're being pushed from your job? Good morning, John and Brianna. Thank you so much for having us on. Um, you know, it's really difficult to understand why it is I'm being pushed in such a way. All I've done is tried to create a space where all students, regardless of their race, ethnicity, you know, their religion, sexual orientation, I've tried to create a space where all students feel safe mm -hmm. to come to school. And for some, for some people, that is not what school is supposed to be in their point of view. And so I can't help but think because of my unapologetic stance in regards to that, um, that is why we are here today. Everything that they have to say is against inclusion and diversity and equity. They have a problem with those words. And so I'm un unapologetic in my stance towards advocating for those things. And I, I believe that is why we're, we're here. After the death of George Floyd, you wrote an email to the community that said, I encourage us all not to grow weary in the battle against systemic racism. Commit to being an anti-racist. Well, there are great obstacles to face. Please know that I am with you on this journey. That's the only writing of yours, really, that I could find here. D just to be clear, did you try to institute teaching on literal cr critical race theory in the curriculum at your school? Absolutely not. You know, what we teach here in the state of Texas uh, is the Texas Essential Knowledge and Skills. And so teachers, uh, they have the curriculum based on the TEKS. And essentially why I crafted that message to go out to the community after the murder of George Floyd uh, in the streets of Minneapolis, I watched people around me. I watched people in our communities surrounding us you know, they were speaking out against this atrocity. And here in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex, we had, you know, a murder of Breonna Taylor. We had just had all these tragic things happen um, to black people. And I knew that I have people in our school, in our community. I was just transitioning from a middle school principal to a high school principal. So I had two different staffs that were dealing with transition. There's students of color who are seeing these tragedies play out on a national scale. And I just felt called to say something. I saw people coming together in ways that I've never seen before in my life. And I was inspired to craft that letter and say that I see you, we see what's going on, and I'm here to work with you to make, basically try to make the world a better yeah. place. And at that time, there was, no, there was no concern about that letter, quite the contrary. Uh, I got nothing but positive feedback. Yeah, and that's not a call to teach critical race theory. And as you say, uh, there's no specific example of you trying to force it on the curriculum or whatnot. The other side of that is that the administration says that's not why they're pushing you out. The reasons they're pushing you out has nothing to do with this. And the reason I keep on harping on this is because the, the way this has been portrayed nationally is principal gets fired for critical race theory. No, that's not what you were doing. That's not why they say they're doing it. Let me play a little bit of sound that came from the Monday school board meeting. Uh, so, so their explanation for why they want you out. As this has played out in the media as a racial issue, many people have been hurt and confused. And for that reason, I will say this clearly. This recommendation is not about Dr. Whitfield's race. It's not about pictures of Dr. Whitfield. It's not about critical race theory. It's not about certain individuals in our community calling for his resignation or his firing. So the board claims that there were performance issues, performance issues that you'd been informed of over the years and were unresponsive to. What do you say to that? So <clears throat> here's what I'll say to that. You know, prior to July 26th, 
when the, the board of trustees allowed an individual to get up and say my name in open forum against the rules of open forum and air these baseless grievances. They allow people in the gallery to yell, fire him, you know, call for my termination. Prior to that, there is no mention of a non-renewal of my contract. And honestly, it's, it's really off base to be talking about a non-renewal of a contract in September for the upcoming school year. And so if there's no issue prior to that, there's no mention of a non-renewal of contract prior to July 26th, but then yet here almost two months later, that's what we're talking about. I think right. they're underestimating the intelligence of the broader community. Um, and you know, you can't disconnect right. the two in, in, in my book. It's, of course, they're not going to come out and say it's about my race or it's about critical race theory, or it's about those individuals. They're not gonna come out and say that, but I think most people um, mm -hmm. are rational-minded enough to look at the events and how they've played out and see what this is really about. Counselor, uh, David, what, what's the next step here for you? <clears throat> well, John, they've left us with no choice but to appeal their decision. If we don't, then Dr. Whitfield is effectively fired despite what they've said in the press. It's never good to forecast what you intend to do in court before you've actually done it, but rest assured we're not the people that you come to when you're trying to avoid a conflict. Uh, David Henderson, Counselor, we appreciate you being with us. Dr. Whitfield, Principal, appreciate your time as well. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.